Traders, we are back today with another drawing tool tutorial. This time we are talking about a drawing tool that you maybe aren't that familiar with yet, but have always wanted to try. And that is the trend based fib extension. I can click that. I know it's activated because it's blue here. I can click a starting point. Now I've got this wonderful trend line. I can click again. And now I've activated the fib extension, which is entirely connected to and dependent on the trend line that I drew, effectively showing a Fibonacci extension tool or retracement tool that is connected to the very trend that I wanted to see. Now I've got this trend based Fibonacci extension. Now, the key thing about this tool isn't so much selecting it, as you saw, I just did, you can find it right here in your GAN and Fibonacci tools. But it's actually more so about understanding what it is, how it works. And of course, if you double click on it, all of the incredible settings features that you have, because there's a lot of settings here that you can customize, and to create a fully, fully custom tool for your exact needs. But before I get into the settings, before I talk any more about you know how to access it, how to add it to your favorites, let me just talk about why it's important and why you might use it. All right. Now, the first thing you should know is that if you haven't read our Help Center articles or watched our videos about the Fibonacci retracement tool, you should go do that. Because the Fibonacci retracement tool gives you the ability to pick any point on the chart, Sometimes people like to use recent highs or lows. And then from that point, effectively measure out a retracement. And with that, try to look for potential bounce levels that make sense according to the mathematical principles of Fibonacci. Now, Fibonacci is often called the golden ratio. We talk about this in our Help Center post. We also go into detail on our YouTube video about this. It is a ratio of points on the price scale. So essentially going from one point to the next point, what that ratio is. And you can see here 0.5. In fact, what I'm going to do in this tool here is actually remove everything except for the 0 0.5 and 1. And that's a helpful way just to show you what's possible here, because now we know the very top here is where we started. So it's a full one. If it goes all the way to this middle line, it's 0.5. So that's, you know, 0.5. You're going half the distance down. And if it goes here, well, that's the zero point. That's sort of the low that you've marked. So that's that means it's, you know, that's the very bottom of this move. And what you can do is then add in each ratio onto this line as needed, 0 0.382, 0 0.236. That is effectively being calculated based on the two starting points you have, the first starting point being up here, and then the I should say ending point being down here. Now that's the Fibonacci tool, but then, okay, what exactly can we do with the trend-based Fibonacci extension? Well, this is a really special tool because check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I am looking at a chart of gold. This is XAU USD at the moment. Now you may notice yourself here that there was this pretty epic trend. I'm just going to change this trend line a little bit so you can really see it and just not miss it that really took place from about you know December of 2024. It bounced here, it bounced here, and it finally broke through, it looks like, right here in April this month of 2025. So that's our trend. But what if I told you there was a way now to not only draw the trend that you want to measure, but also the Fibonacci retracement entirely based on that trend? So we know that this trend has broken, right? It's broken. So now what is the retracement levels that we might want to plan for or prepare for or study? Well, it's right here, trend based Fibonacci extension. I'm going to click this tool. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click this low here, follow this trend line as I see it. Okay. Now we know the trend line broke right here. So I'm going to click and now I'm already here and ready and active to add my Fibonacci extension or retracement levels as needed to this chart. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and just say that, for example, I'm going to bring the one line right here. So that's the gray one. I want one to be the starting point. And if I think that this trend is broken, right? Well, then these are the Fibonacci levels I'm going to watch as it breaks or, you know, for each bounce until it can finally find some footing and some new buyers. So now I've just combined the power of the Fibonacci retracement or Fibonacci extensions, depending on how we want to use the tool with a trend line tool, 
really a wonderful feature to combine these two really popular and really detailed tools and technical analysis into one simple feature. Now, it's also important to remember that you don't have to use this tool just for you know upward trends. There are ways to do it as well for downward trends. Maybe you have this downward trend that's forming now. Looks like it's a little early. And you could try to find where that trend breaks and then draw the tool accordingly so that you sort of have your levels marked to the upside and then these extreme downside levels you know, the way that you choose to use this tool is entirely in your hands. And there's no sort of shortage of customizations that you can use this. The key is you want to make sure you're studying this tool, you're back testing it, you're taking this very seriously, and you're understanding that no tool is guaranteed to work 100% of the time. But you now know that there is a tool on TradingView that combines the trend line with the Fibonacci retracement, two disciplines into one. You're drawing trend lines and you're getting a Fibonacci connection to that trend line. Now, I'm just going to redo this all over again, because what I want to make sure I now show you, we see it broke here. I'm going to take the one here. By the way, the reason why I'm saying I'm putting the one, the gray here, is I kind of want the one to serve as sort of the starting point. Everything else lower, if this trend is really broken, are sort of the Fibonacci levels that I want to see in that downtrend, what might hold according to this golden ratio. Now I'm going to double click on this tool and just remind you that everything on this feature or on this drawing tool feature can be fully customized. So you can even hide the trend line if you wish, wish. but for this part of the video, actually, I'm going to change the color of this line. I want this line to be more visible. So I'm just going to make it white here. Actually, you know what? Let's actually, that's really nice. There we go. So I can customize the trend line up and then the trend line down. Now, Another way to think about this tool, by the way, is your target. So if you think this trend line broke and now you think it's going to sort of revisit these levels here, you can pull the Fibonacci extension down to the level where you think it's going to hit. And then the Fibonacci levels will all align up nicely right there based off of where the trend broke. So we drew the line. If you zoom in here, we drew it right through that break. And then here's our target price. And then here are the Fibonacci levels we can watch depending on what happens next. In fact, if you do like these levels to sort of guide you in your drawing and your technical analysis, it's very interesting that arguably based off of this one break, and we could be hitting back down to these lows. There's sort of no more golden ratio. There's no more Fibonacci ratios left according to this way I drew this specific tool. And if the move goes up, well, it looks like it is gonna have a hard time breaking through this level. It already faded about right there. But now that I'm customizing the tool, I just wanna make sure you understand that you can double click and do quite a bit here. Now I use retracements and extensions almost interchangeably throughout this video. And that's because you can draw the tool accordingly so that it is extended on the chart. So if we do extend lines left, it goes all the way across the chart to the left. Extend lines, lines right, it goes all the way across the chart to the right. One reason why traders love to do that is because you can zoom out to see if these levels ever mattered at any other point in history. Well, isn't that interesting? Gold is at all time highs right now. So this is a first, we are in uncharted territory. These levels are about the only information we have to work with then from a historical perspective. In addition, if we think the move could be drawn out for a very long time, right? Well, we can extend the lines across the chart in a really simple fluid way here. And now we can see them well into the future. Actually, if you look, this is 2026, they just keep going and going. Now I'm gonna double click here because I'm not done showing you the features. You, of course, have the capability to customize each of the Fibonacci ratios on this tool, including its color, including whether you want to see it or not. You already saw me earlier in the video uncheck some of these specific lines. You can see here, uncheck, 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 and they disappear. Go ahead and check them and they reappear. Now, here's a tip in this video that I think you're really going to love. It's so key. You know this. You don't have to use the Fibonacci ratios on this tool. You actually have so much customization. You could do zero. You could keep this orderly, 0.25. Let's hide this. This is 0.5. Let's hide this. Let's do 0.75. Let's do one. Let's hide these. And now effectively what we've done is we've created increments of 0.25, 0 to 0.25 to 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 to, 0 .75 to one. And we've got the different colors here. Why don't we make it so that these colors sort of are all the same color? And the reason why we're going to do that 
Let's make them shades of blue so that we can see the intensity of each incremental 0.5 movement on the chart. And the reason why we're going to do that is because effectively we aren't using this anymore just as a Fibonacci tool. We're using it as sort of an incremental change tool based off of the trend we drew, the starting point, and the ending point. So you can really customize this tool to your needs in any way that even goes beyond Fibonacci. Now you can also use this really neat tool that allows you to change the colors of this tool to any one color. And what's really wonderful about that is very simply put, if you're doing what I'm doing, you're not just using it for Fibonacci. With a simple click, you can change every single color on this chart into one and now you have a chart that fits your design specifications and has a look and feel exactly that you want to see. Now, double clicking again and scrolling down, the features just get better and better. It just doesn't end how much you've got here. Full control over the background color of this tool, meaning do you want the lines to be shaded in really lightly or really heavily? The choice is yours. Additionally, what's just so cool is the reverse button. If you're drawing these trend lines, this is a really fantastic tip here that you can utilize. You can draw this uptrend. Now let's say this uptrend gets broken and it just goes back up to all time highs in a flash. So we're right back to all time highs in a flash. Well, you, double, you would double click and you could just effectively reverse it so that now it's measuring the Fibonacci extensions higher. Let's say it breaks lower, reverse it lower. Now you're just looking at the extensions lower and you're reversing the entire drawing, by the way. So really a fantastic feature. You can imagine like you draw this tool in an uptrend, it, but it turns out to be a downtrend, reverse it. This tool, you draw this tool in a downtrend, it starts to be an uptrend, reverse it. So you have some really quick and capable ways to change the drawing tool according to what you're seeing happen in real time. You, of course, can see the prices on the chart and the levels as well. So you're going to want to watch these levels here. In fact, for this part of the video, why don't I turn off the extensions? Beautiful. So that you can see this and drag this down. Now you just can't miss these numbers here. Go ahead and double click. And what we're going to do now is effectively show you that if you hide prices, now you only have the ratios. If you, if you click prices, you have prices. If you uncheck this, now you only have the prices. The levels is the the levels is the Fibonacci ratio, and you can see this as values or as percents. Now remember, we have 100 percent, 75 percent, 50, 25. That's because we changed it to be 0.25 increments for the remainder of this video. The choice, though, ladies and gentlemen, is ultimately yours how you want to use this. You can keep it as a Fibonacci tool, or you can use it for other reasons that matter to you. You've also got full control, as always, with every tool on TradingView of how you want the values and numbers to show. So you can see here when I click labels on the right, they jet it out here to the right. If I go center, they're now in the middle of the lines. If I go left, they're on the left side. Now, this is important to know because sometimes you might want to create a more crisp chart. If we go all the way to the right, Look at how it moves the numbers all the way over here to the right. And now we can just see our chart more you know, effectively. When they're over here to the left, they're really clashing with each, each candlestick. So let's move them to the right. We've also got text here as well. And if we want to add text to this tool, we can do that and change the font size. And look, the features just keep coming. It gets better and better the longer this video goes on. You can adjust your Fibonacci levels based on a log scale or just a normal, regular scale that's incrementally going the same size with, with each point higher. Meaning this is your price scale. If you have log scale on, it adjusts it for a percentage change. So it's going to, in this case, it's going to change the levels a bit to be logarithmic. You can actually see here, I even have logarithmic toggled on my chart. Now I'm just going to keep this off because I want to end this video with three final features. Coordinates ensures that you can study each coordinate and get the exact point. I want this to be 3000 on the dot. I want this to be 2500 on the dot. And I want this to be 2675 on the dot, meaning I want every number I drew to largely be a round number. But you'll notice the trend did change a little bit there, so I'm going to have to readjust it back. But you get the idea of what you can do with coordinates. You can create each point at a very solid round number. 2675 is this point, and you can track the numbers each way. 3000 is right here, 
where the trend broke right at 3000. And here's our starting point at about 2565. Visibility, of course, is if you want to see the tool on a daily time frame, minute time frame, all time frames. I'm looking at a minute chart. I'm sorry, I'm looking at a daily chart. Okay. But if I turn the tool off, I'm going to turn the tool off on minutes and hours and just go to a one minute chart and you'll notice there's no drawings. That's because I've decided to hide the tool on the one minute chart. That's the beauty of visibility. Now I know I've gone into great detail in this tool. I want to end with the ability to add text to each line. So you can see here, you can add text as well to each Fibonacci line. This can be anything you wish. Levels you're watching, sell points, stop losses, profit targets. It's really your text to add anything that you want to add. So with that being said, we hope that this video gave you the full tutorial you needed and everything you ever wanted to know about this tool. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our videos.